Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer can teach us a whole, whole lot about when you are chosen. You may not fit in a lot, but not fitting in is cool, cause you stand out for her, his glory and adoration. That's all of us kingdom kids. So when you are feeling down, they don't want to hang. Remember you are chosen by the king of kings and he never lies. So as you're sitting here now, watching me sing this song, remember that you are chosen. Let everyone now sing along. I tried to make up a song for you guys because I love you all so much. Anyway, let's jump into it. So, this year, Christmas was a lot different for me. And God taught me a lot this Christmas. God taught me about the fact that Christmas, like what the average family worldwide would celebrate, includes Santa and elves and all these other things. But that's not what Christmas is about. And Christmas is about celebrating God's birthday. Okay, and it doesn't even, this is just the time that some old Anglo-Saxon dude a long time ago chose to have us all celebrate it. When I was younger, we made Jesus birthday parties all the time. But we choose to celebrate Jesus's birthday in December, around December 25th, right? And so how come we don't give more acknowledgement about Jesus's birthday? Like, we're really celebrating a birthday party. But this year, the Lord revealed to me a very special, very common story. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer um, actually taught me a lesson about all of us chosen kids. Um, as children of the king, uh, put in the comments or like this video and subscribe if you've never fit in um, and you feel like, hey, you know, life's about belonging. Uh, let me be the first to tell you, it's not. <laughs> we are here on a mission um, and we've all been placed here intentionally um, to tell people about the Lord and to live out the purpose that he's given us. Each and every one of us has a purpose. If you haven't figured it out yet, I will be praying for you. And more importantly, it's not about us figuring it out, it's about God revealing it um, to us and us listening. Sometimes we're like, okay, I heard that purpose, but I want another one. That's not about that. The purpose that God has for you is specifically designed for you. Trust me, brother, trust me, sister, it's incredible and beyond your wildest dreams. Just trust him, trust me. Not really trust me, trust God. I mean, you can trust me, but you, you know what I mean. So, we all know the story of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. He was the reindeer that none of the other reindeers wanted him in their cliques. Put in the comments if you've never fit into a click or if you fit into all of them um you know because you're just uniquely and creatively made by god which is what we're all here for some of us just want to deny it because we just you know fit in a box but anyway um so yeah rudolph was kicked out like he didn't you know no one else wanted him in the reindeer games which were really the foolish games um that they were playing and you know we all watching the story felt bad for Rudolph because he stood out from the crowd and he didn't fit in. Um, and then eventually he was chosen by, um, to, you know, lead the sleigh with the reindeer and he stood out from them all. But what I learned from it is Rudolph is a perfect example of what it is to be chosen by God. When you're chosen by God, you don't fit in with the rest of the people. When you're chosen by God, you have a specific purpose and a calling. And guess what? Those people that are jealous of you right now, they're really watching and they're mad because they haven't listened or heard or know God. So they don't know what their purpose is. So they're just jealous because you're walking in your purpose. And so if you're left out from that group, do not feel bad you're probably actually in the right direction um, because fitting into one group means that you've narrowed yourself and lowered in your perspective your view and value so little so that you can fit in with the rest of these people none of us are supposed to be the same we are uniquely wonderfully fearfully and beautifully made each and every one of us that does not mean you're going to fit in 
there is no one else in the world that is like you. There is no one else in the world that has the purpose that God has given you because it's uniquely designed for you. Um, those little teddy bears that you had when you were younger, I don't know what the brand is, but they had like a special coat on it. Um, it's not Webkinz. Webkinz is one of them, but it's not Webkinz. Um, and the, that code was specific for that bear, right? Um, that's like your purpose. Your purpose is specific to you. No other bear, no other person has that purpose that you have. And so it's up to you whether you're going to choose to walk in it. And if you don't walk in it and you want to live life the way that you want to live it, that purpose is forfeited. Like it just goes. It doesn't mean that God didn't create it. It just means that you chose to not walk in it. So back to the story. Um, Rudolph is chosen. And he may not understand it in this season, just like you may not understand it in this season. But guess what? That doesn't take away the fact that you're chosen by God, that you're loved by God, that God sees you, that God knows you, and he wants you to walk in the God-given purpose that he's created you for. And honestly, there seems to be this worldwide trend where things are like, you know, do it, and hey, later your haters are gonna be like, ah, oh, but you can't even do it for the haters. Because we can be so focused doing things for the haters that we miss honoring God. Because God says, love your enemies. And you know, when you're flexing on the haters or whatever, you're just like, oh, you know, look at me, what I did without you. And sometimes it can get very not loving. Um, but more importantly, we have to remember that as Pastor Tate of Fellowship Monrovia says, God is a goal period. And we wanna honor God in our lives and our souls and our, and our minds and our, with all of our heart, mind, soul, and strength. Um, we wanna honor God in everything that we do. And so being chosen is not a bad thing. That's basically what I'm here to say as I'm going all over the place with the story. Being chosen is not a bad thing. It is an incredible thing. It is a gift. And so I just wanna encourage you to walk in that gift. You may be like Rudolph and you may be in that season where no one wants you to play in their games, but guess what? Those games are foolish anyway, so it's good that you're just oh, out, you know, away um, from those things because those, those things will probably distract you from the purpose and plan that God has for your life. Um, and you never know the purpose and plan that God has for your life and may end up blessing your haters and the people that were supporting you all along the way. Um, but you have to just trust God through the process and realize that Christmas is about Him and honoring Him. It's not even about presents. And God will set you up in a way when you honor him and you serve him, he will set you up. You've got the full package, okay? Everything, the like the deluxe of deluxe packages is your life. That's what he's given you. And we just have to choose to walk in it. And I think so often we think we have to earn it or deserve it um, or do something in order to receive it. But guess what? All we have to do is accept Jesus as our personal Lord and Savior and listen and follow. Listen and follow. Sometimes we don't wanna listen and there's another video that I talked about about listening when we pray make sure you go check it out because it's super good um but we have to listen and even if that purpose doesn't look like what we thought for ourselves or what we want for ourselves we have to have a humble spirit and realize guess what god made me he knows exactly what i'm designed for and he knows that this purpose is going to be the best thing that ever happened to me so i trust him in that and sometimes it seems like it may be hard i'm sure that rudolph was like you know spending years and years watching them just play without him felt bad but guess what he eventually led all of the reindeer all the reindeer all of them were like behind him and so what it means to be chosen you may not fit in a lot and there are seasons when you may feel alone but guess what you are never alone because God is with you if God has taught me anything this season it is that I am never alone whether you having you know family issues or family problems whether you have no friends whether you have all the friends in the world and they ditch you even when you do have friends your first friend the first friend you ever had you know like you have like your first teddy bear or your first something when you're first born the first friend you ever had was jesus he was your friend before you even knew that he existed before you came into this world he knew you and he formed you in your mother's womb and he loves you and so i just wanted to encourage you with that and say that you know, if you're Rudolph and you're in the season where you're not in the reindeer games, AKA the foolish games, I'm here with you. We're in this season together. Um, there may be things that we miss out on, but guess what? We're really not missing out. It's actually a reward, us not being in those situations because we never know where those situations could actually take us or deter us um, away from our purpose. And so being able to serve a wonderful God and have a relationship with him, because remember, it's not a religion, it's a relationship. Um, 
Just honoring him and being chosen is a gift. Fitting in isn't the gift, being chosen is. And so really just sitting in that and appreciating that and realizing that we're not alone. The most beautiful person that ever lived and lives is with us all the time. And that is more of a gift than anything else. So I just wanted to encourage you that God knows the plans that he has for you. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you, to give you a future and a hope. If you are feeling like Rudolph in this season and you're not in the reindeer games, guess what? There's a season that's coming when God will use you to show all of your haters and the people that supported you that God loves them. Um, and your purpose is so beautiful. And I'm, I don't, you know what? We may have not ever even met before. You may be new to this channel, <laughs> my channel, this journey. Um, but guess what? I want to journey with you. Whatever part of the Rudolph story you're in, whatever part of the story that God um, has created for you, the purpose, whatever part of your purpose that you're walking in, if you haven't started walking in it yet, if you are walking in it, or if you plan to walk in it anytime soon, I want to be here for you and support you in that. As a fellow sister in Christ, nice to meet you. Um, so yeah, um, I just wanted to encourage you in that and say that the purpose that God has for you like I would rather be known in heaven and not be known on earth. Like I want I want my name to be in the Lamb's Book of Life. I would rather be known all in, in heaven, be like, oh yeah, that's my girl, than be known on earth and the lights. And it took me a while to be able to say that because I used to be a pursuer of fame, guys. I did. Um, and I'm still working on it. But it's important to realize that I'd rather go down in heaven's history than go down in earth's history. And so, yeah, I just wanted to encourage you guys with that. I'm going to pray. Make sure before we pray that you like and subscribe, comment below your favorite part um, or what season of the Rudolph story that you find yourself in. Um, yeah, I want to journey with you. We are, I'm just, I'm so excited um, that we are family and that we are here to support each other in whatever season of life that we're in and that God is with us and we're here for a purpose. And I'm so excited to be on this planet at the same time as you. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, I come before you and I thank you, Lord, for everything that you um, do for us, um, who you are, Lord God. I thank you, Lord, for being with us, for protecting us, for keeping us safe, Father God. I ask, Lord, that whatever season of the Rudolph story that we find ourselves in, whether we're not in the reindeer games, Father God, um, whether we are currently leading others that we don't even see or know, Father God, I ask, Lord, that um, you just help us to remain in you, Lord. Fix our hearts, Lord, as we um, surrender to you, Lord. Change our hearts, purify us, cleanse us of all unrighteousness, Lord. Um, renew in us clean, pure hearts and a steadfast spirit within us, Lord. And as we tie up um, and put a ribbon on 2021 and all that we've learned, Lord, I ask, Lord, that you just be with us. Um, as we know you always will, thank you, Lord, for being our very, very, very best friend. Um, I thank you, Lord, for the community and the individual that is on the other side of the screen. I ask, Lord, that you bless them um, and that you just remind them of your love and that they are chosen by you and they're loved and they have a purpose, a purpose that you've given them and nothing that they can ever do or have done will ever erase that. And so I thank you, Lord, for your mercy and your grace and your goodness. In Jesus' name, amen. Alrighty, friends. So I'm going to go. And with that, I will see you guys next time. But I love you all. Make sure, again, that you like and subscribe. Share this video with your friends. This is something I learned and I really wanted to share with you guys because you guys are my family and I'm super excited that you're here. All right. Bye, friends.